want to start by asking you how you think the system is handling all this volatility. Uh, for a second day, we've seen equities trigger uh, circuit breakers. Are the circuit breakers doing their job, buying some time, preventing bigger dislocations? There's no question circuit breakers are helping. People are digesting the information that they're getting. One thing is for certain, volatility is here. And if you just listen to your program, that's all people are talking about. And it's going to continue to be here till we get a little bit more clarity. So, John, I mean, when we talk about getting that clarity, obviously a lot of that uh, is going to hinge on, on sort of what response we get uh, from the government, whether it's uh, in terms of financial support or uh, any sort of type of direction with regards to uh, protecting some of our industries. Uh, what are you expecting? What's the policy prescription that you would be looking for that you think would sort of give people a little bit more confidence in this market? Well, I think fiscal policy is really important. And what the administration is doing, as long as they're surgical in terms of where they could help and help more immediately. Number one, medical. I think that if they can help uh, in the medical field, it's very important. Payroll taxes. Hit the people that need it the most right now. I think that is something that will help a lot. We saw what happened when monetary policy, they lowered the rates, the market was down still. It's hard to think that that's going to change people's, um, other than refinancing your house in the long term, yes, the country's debt will, will be lessened by the lower rates, but the immediate impact is not there with the monetary policy. They have to be a lot more surgical as well. Hmm. Oh, I love that word, surgical. But the problem with surgical measures is that it takes time. It's not going to happen immediately, as much as the president would like to say that uh, things are coming, support is coming. How much time are investors, is the, willing, is the market willing to give policymakers when the virus case number increases and there seems to be no end in sight to the price war uh, in oil? Well, what we're telling our investors is that volatility is going to be here. And what we're seeing is a lot more investors are looking for active management during these times of crisis, especially when the markets are down. And you need to be in it in order to get some of the appreciation. Because what happens is when we do get a recovery of some sort, some kind of definite, whether it be the fiscal policies that the president may ensure that will help, and that will be quicker than the monetary policies, whether we have some kind of slowdown of the virus spreading, those are all positive signs of the market. And if you're not invested in the market, you won't be able to participate in the upside. And we know that we had a strong economy going into this virus, that we will get a good recovery. And we're telling our clients to be invested in certain instruments that will help participate in the upside, but dampen the downside. So what about those instruments, John? I mean, to, suppose you have somebody who has a more traditional portfolio, 60-40 type of portfolio, and then you look at where uh, bond yields are right now. I, I mean, what's the advice that you give them with regards to uh, how to stay invested in this market and be exposed to this market without necessarily taking on the risk uh, with Treasury yields below 1 percent and a stock market that even though it's sold off is still near those record highs? Well, that's a good question. And what's been really working very well for Calamos Investments is our liquid alternative programs. We have three different funds, Market Neutral, which is the largest liquid fund in the world. We have another fund called Hedge Equity and a long short fund. And I'm proud to say that just in the last month, we became the largest provider of liquid alts in the entire world. And why is this? Because we're seeing inflows right now. We're not just advising our customers. They are acting with our with their wallets where they are buying these products where it dampens the down floor. And if you look at the last two, three weeks, these products, although they give you participation in the upside, we've outperformed the, uh, the benchmarks in the equity market. So they're not, they didn't fall as much as some of the traditional products or the long only products. And that's what we're advising our clients. That's where we're seeing the huge inflows. And that's where we'll continue to advise because that keeps you in the game and enables you to make the comeback because we've seen right. these markets come back in huge, huge gyrations of, you know, a thousand points up, a thousand points down. So the swings are big. You got to be in it. We don't yeah. advise taking the chips off the table.